What should you eat in the build up to a challenge like the enduro? Well, any endurance challenge like this, when you're going to be going hard for several hours on end, the main fuel source that your body's going to burn is carbohydrate. And a lot of that is stored in your muscles as a molecule called glycogen. And glycogen is what you're going to be relying on, especially when you get deep into the event to power your performance. The great thing about glycogen stores is that there's something that you can influence and increase in the days leading up to an event to give you extra fuel to get through the event itself. So most of you will have heard of carbo loading, which involves eating more carbohydrate in the build up to an event in order to maximize those stores. Now really, carbohydrate loading doesn't need to start much more than about 48 hours before the event. As you'll be tapering your training down, no doubt, some of the additional carbohydrate your muscles will be storing will just be excess in your diet due to a, a lower training load in the final few days. But when you get into that final 48 hours or so, you, you want to really focus on increasing the carbohydrate component of your diet. And a simple way to think about that is by switching out some of the more um, fibrous or, or protein-based foods and switching in more carbohydrate-based ones. So that's things like breads and pastas and potatoes and rices, whatever you prefer. Having an extra portion of those with most of your meals on the final two days is a really good tactic to just increase that dietary carbohydrate level and make sure that your muscles are getting stocked up. In the, in the last few hours before the event, or in fact starting the night before, a lot of athletes also find it's helpful to start to eliminate a lot of fiber from their diet. So eating actually less vegetables, less fruit, less of the sort of stuff that would be considered normally to be healthy and going more for simple carbohydrate type foods. So white breads, cereals, pasta, that kind of thing, because you don't want lots and lots of fiber sat in your system on the day. And if you can do that, if you can increase that carbohydrate component of the diet in the last 48 hours, you should get onto the start line with your muscles fully stocked or super compensated, as it's called, and that will give you larger energy, energy stores to draw on. Now, the final meal is also relatively important, especially if, you're, um, if your start time is in the morning because overnight, as your body sleeps, you'll deplete your liver glycogen stores and they need to be topped up. So a carbohydrate breakfast two or three hours before is really, really important. And then in the last 15 minutes, a lot of athletes like to take something like an energy gel or an energy chew or something like that just to do a final top up. And you can take that literally five or 10 minutes before the start so that as you're starting, that carbohydrate's absorbed into your system. It's in the bloodstream, ready to go during the first few minutes and helps to spare a little bit more glycogen from later on. So make sure that you, you're well topped up when you start the event and it will pay dividends, especially in the later stages.